take 19. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Gary Gable here. I'm here with Angelo Ramora, the CEO and founder of Ohio Cashflow. Today Angela we are- Angelo Ramora, man. <laughs> that guy's freaking cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, today we are bringing you the yellow ladder tip of the day. Um, first time from the car, right? First time. Yep. First time. Yep. 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 So one of the questions we get from a lot of our investors is, um, you know, how, how do we actually renovate houses? What is our sure. process? What do we do? What do we look for? And how do we do it? Mate, you're turning left there just yep. so you know, right? Here. <laughs> Mate, awesome stuff. Well, check this out. For all of you folks out there that aren't willing to buy through a higher cash flow and you think you can do it all yourself, well, guess what? I'm going to help you out right now. So pretty much, guys, look, you do not want to overcapitalize when you are renovating a home. Okay, the three main points of any renovation should be the kitchen, the bathroom, and the painting. Okay, you want to add more perceived value to that property than what you've actually spent. And a rule that I follow is for every one dollar spent, you want to get three back. Okay, so I'll repeat that for every one dollar spent, you want to get three back. So if spending a dollar Okay, it's not justifiable where you do not think you'll get $3 back and you'll be able to know these figures once you look at the comparable sales in that area, there's no point of spending it, okay? So for every dollar spent, you gotta get three back. Paint, paint, paint. It is huge, man. Yep. It is freaking huge. Paint everything you possibly can and it makes a big difference. New carpet on the floor is also another cheap fix which makes a big difference. I'm not gonna say it's an optical illusion, but as I said, it just adds more perceived value than you've actually spent on those two items. Look, you have to do work to the kitchen and you have to do work to the bathroom. Make sure if you're buying to fix a property and you're gonna buy and hold it, make sure that you fix everything where you eliminate any maintenance issues that you predict might occur. If the furnace is older, replace it, okay? If the electrical needs upgrading, upgrade the electrical. Um, roof, do not buy a home that has a, a lifespan of less than 10 years of roof life left on it, okay? Um, so yeah, guys, look, I hope that some of these little tips have helped you out. Um, other than that, if you want more information about us and what we do, if you want more information about how we renovate our homes, please go to our website, www.ohiocashflow.com. Send us a message, um, follow us on social media, um, and um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much it. Oh, I have to show you this. Toledo University, baby. Look at that. Hey, one of our target areas is just around the corner. We're actually driving to a house right now. There's Toledo University for you. Hey, I'm Angelo Ramora, the real estate dinger. This is Gary Gable, the kid, coming to you live, baby, with the yellow ladder tip of the day from a car for the first time. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.